morning everyone you know what today is today is race day I feel like I've been a little unprepared this whole time about race day because we never have shade last two races of the entire season and guess what I'm finally buying shade but the last several races it hasn't been hot enough to need it like it's been manageable last week we borrowed someone's big shade tent this week I'm gonna get our own because I don't know if you guys know those shade tents can break very easily and I'd rather just have my own so I don't have to replace someone else's so we're taking the truck today whoa who's that stud uh, it's rather big you know yeah Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Already been to swim today. Yeah. Going to Costco to get some stuff for Cruise Big Race. I like the shirt you're wearing. Show us all. Mini motocross. Oh yeah. Series ends today and tomorrow. We're so excited, you guys. Stick with us. Let's head to Costco and buy some shade. Who buys shade anyway? So right now we are at Costco. We just barely got some gas for the truck. We're here to get a pop-up tent shade thing and we're about to walk in. Do this. We came here for shade. There's no shade. They're all out. We've got to go to another Costco to find another shade. All right, Kirby, I want you to grab a case of Gatorade so you can stay hydrated. Make sure you choose. They all have different flavors. There's all so different ones. Gatorade Frost. So you have like the traditional lemon lime, fruit punch, orange flavor, or you can go the Arctic one. These ones are low sugar. And those ones are the baby ones. I feel like they need the bigger size bottles for today. So which one do you choose? You choose that one? Oh, right, guys, going all in. Here, put it on the bottom. Okay, let go. Oh boy, cart got away from you. Do you want me to do it? No, it's easy. I shouldn't be laughing. You're doing a really good job. There you go. Good job, thank you. They didn't have my pop-up tent and I forgot to get ice, so that was not smart. So we're gonna load everything else in and we're gonna have to go to another Costco. Kids are eating lunch. Miss Hazy, are you having some yogurt and a sandwich? Boys are all having lunch. Okay guys, I think I know why Hazy says, okay guys, it's because of me, huh? Okay guys, that's gonna be our next shirt, I have a feeling. We're gonna get the bike loaded up here soon. Get ready for this race. All right, Kirby, we had something made for you. Come over here and see it for your race. Whoa. What do you think of these? These are just like the ones on dad's phone. It's a, a dirt bike game. We made these just for you and guess what? Because we love Bryson so much, we made him a number five. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> That's super cool that you guys made Bryson one. All right, guys, Dad's loading up the bike. He's got the gas. Dad's got gas. <laughs> Yeah, we do need more gas. We do probably need some, whatever that mixture is. And the oil. It's insanely windy. I know. Mama successfully put everyone down for a nap. I'm gonna head out there right now. All I'm doing, we're going out hours early just to save a spot so that we can have a spot close to the end of the race so that crew can come out and immediately be with us. So it doesn't start, even practice doesn't start for almost three hours from right now. Me and my guy are gonna go head out there and go save a spot, lock it down. Mom will be out later with the kids and we'll get race night underway. All right, guys, me and Rag guy just got here. He did not ride in the front seat. We're just here. We unloaded the bike. We got everything set up. This is unlike anything we've ever experienced. We thought we knew race night. We know nothing about race night, you guys. I'm gonna get out and show you what's going down here, but apparently everybody and their freaking dog has a ginormous RV at these things. Like everybody's camping out tonight. Everybody's staying over. The races go late, late, late tonight. And then they start at like seven, I don't know. Mindy said like I have to be here at 7 a.m. or something. I don't know. Gates open at 6.30. I really don't know. Obviously I don't know because we feel a little out of our depth today. We got the truck. I can promise you we're not getting an RV. I'll put a pool in the back backyard before I get an RV. But let me just show you what we showed up to today and what we're working with on this race weekend. RVs as far as the eye can see. And we've got our truck right here. We found a spot. It's not the greatest spot, but we did get a spot, which is huge considering we got here hours early and look down this way. I mean, we're on the last row here. We're three rows down. As you go through, it's just honestly, RVs as far as you can see. And like I said, we were here two, three hours early and still got like third row because of how many people show up early, but they're just here, they're ready to camp. You got spots blocked off, saved for giant RVs plus trucks. This is a new level, people, new level. I'm headed out now with Brex and crew. I got a babysitter for Hazy today because we had to back out of the truck super early in the morning and I feel like Hazy could use the rest and not get back super late tonight, head out super early in the morning. So two days at the racetrack is just a long time with her. Hazy, you gonna stay home and play? She's gonna have two different babysitters today, Miss Peyton, and then Miss Kate is gonna come play with her later. Tell Kirby, say, good luck, Kirby. Good luck, Kirby. I've got crew and Brex. You guys, we've got everything loaded. We've got, we got watermelon, sandwich for dad, Gatorade's water. Wait, we're Caffeine for mom. Um, Cruise gear. I decided to bring my DSLR camera to try and get some cool shots of crew. And best of all, cookies back there. You ready, Brex? Yeah. Pulling up, this place is slammed. They actually told me I wasn't allowed in, but guess who saved us a spot? Oh, I have to go all the way around. Going all the way around, you guys. There are people, campers, everything here for like, as far as you can see. Crew! 
It's time, baby. Excited? Yeah. He's the most humble, cute little sweet boy. Crew, are you ready for this, bro? This is so cool. Brixie Doodle, hi. All I smell is Little Caesars. Oh, I'm starving. We stopped and got pizza on the way. Thank you. All right, guys, we're gonna go deliver these cookies to Bryson. He just qualified for nationals that I think it's called the Loretta. I gotta look it up for sure. So we're gonna give these to him as a good luck and a congratulations for making nationals. Oh, that's so cute. So, these are so dude, cool. these are some good luck cookies, but also congratulations cookies on making the nationals, bro. So you got your shield there, bike, and of course, you're always taking that checkered flag. So thought you'd give you those cookies, bro. Check this guy out, Bryson Green 5 on Instagram. He just qualified for the Nationals at Loretta Lynn's. It's going to be insane. You've got to follow the journey, you guys. It's very rare for a youth to qualify for that, and this guy dominated all season long and qualified for that. He's going to be racing in the National Championships. Okay. <laughs> and he's the most humble kid. Perfect trainer for crew. Hey guys, Edge Power Sports getting crew's bike race ready over here, teaching us the inside tricks, greasing it up, cleaning it up. Tricks of the trade, if you will. We've been doing this for how long now, sweetie? Like a couple months? Three months? You think we would know this stuff now, but we're still being taught little lessons along the way. Very grateful for amazing help from Edge Power sports so we know what we're doing help Kruby be the best racer he can be huh Kruby do All right, guys, my crew, we do gearing up for his practice session right now. We're gonna get out there. He's gonna get a few practice laps in and then it's race time. Now, guys, mom, have you explained how this one works, the big series? So you guys, this one is a full series. So it's all the mini, it's all the adults. You're gonna see big kids, medium-sized kids, little kids like crew, we do, but it's a long, long series of events. It goes deep into the night. It starts early tomorrow morning. We're gonna see how the heck we get this vlog put together. But you guys, it's gonna be a ton of fun. As you can see, it is packed. I mean, I wish I would've brought the drone. They actually told me specifically I can't fly the drone here, but I would love to show you the number of RVs out here, the number of people out here. It's a full packed house at race night championship weekend coming at you. Had some super amazing special awesome rad savage visitors come tonight to cruise race like they drove forever forever and ever hunt Kirby are you so excited that they're here yeah. he looks like such a stud <laughs> I did you guys are so awesome thank you so much for coming so explaining how this night works okay he's gonna race twice in two different classes both of them twice so it's the equivalent of four races same as a normal night so he's raced four and 17 and then they just updated it to three and 16 I know it's a little bit confusing but what that means is he'll race in the third race the 16th race it goes through to 27 races and starts over again so that's why it takes so long normally there's anywhere from like 15 to 17 races a night tonight there's 27 to 29 races so it's a much longer night because you got to wait till they get completely done and then start it over again so we're gonna head out there right now and get prepared for his first race of the night the peewee beginner class so I was just out there on the practice track with crew we've been doing this for about three months now he's been to many many races and as you guys know I pride myself in running from corner to corner, cheering him on, making sure he knows that I am everywhere on that track so that he is safe and taken care of and his dad is out there cheering him on. Kruby, what did you tell me right before your practice? That it kind of distracts me when he runs to every single place. <laughs> so... I'm so proud of him for telling me. I'm That's sure that was hard. Proud. That's awesome. So I am going to be standing probably stationary in one place tonight. Not as many angles tonight of the race, but that's what Kruby do requested. Some of you even commented, does he even like it when you're in those spots? Does it scare him? And he said, it's kind of distracting when you're everywhere because I keep looking and you're here and then I look and you're somewhere else. And so it's a little distracting. So maybe just choose one spot and stay in it. So tonight guys, I'm sticking to one spot. We're going to cut the highlights down to pretty much his GoPro camera. And that's how we're going to bring you the race tonight. And I'll be in the stands just cheering your name. Go! And he can never hear me because of this is giant. It's loud out there. <laughs> Got a support squad always oh, pushing him along. The coolest kids around these dirt bikes. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Here we well, go. See go. you out there. Yeah. Bye. I love you. Watch the gate. Watch the gate. Go. Of course, as usual, Rye Guy beats everybody back here. 
Cooper Dew, how to feel? Hey, congratulations, bro. Not a bad way to start. I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard for me to stand in one place out on that track and just watch Cooper Dew. I'm doing my best to stay out of the way, but out of habit, I keep running around a little bit, but I'm not cheering as loud. So is it any better this time? Yeah, it's really better. Okay, it's really better. So I'm doing my job right, you guys. It's a beautiful night out. The clouds came over for a little bit. The temperatures cooled down. As you can see, the sun is setting just behind us. That's mean the bugs are coming out, so I'm gonna go apply some bug spray. We still got a few races till cruise. Second of four races. It's gonna be a long night, but we love coming out here and doing this with Cooper Dew. tonight you guys is getting to see different races that you don't normally get to see we never get to see the big boy ATV so we're having a lot of fun watching this different style of race out here the quads the four-wheelers getting major air kids are fascinated with it the way they drift on these hills they kick up dirt as they go around fun thing about tonight's combined events you've got all the big boys little boys and everything in between we got the pizza we got the snacks we got the drinks we got everything we could possibly need to make it through a long long night here crew is headed out right now for race number two of four tonight and I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us on race night it is so much so fun. fun. Mindy was just saying up there that she loves race night. I love it. And this is the last Sorry, of two of this series and this season. So we may have to re-up for summer season. We've had a lot of fun doing that. Guys, real quick. Would you like to see half like this on our store? Let us know in the comments below. If there's enough demand for it, we'll get them. The kind of the bent brim, the more softer finish, not the, the flat brim like our new ones. Yeah, in that back like that. We've had a couple people message us that. We want to know if there's well, enough Tyson demand. Well, Gardner always wears his. So let us know in the comments below. If there's enough demand, we will stock our store with some of those. Let us know. Crew is giving me the get over here dad my race is coming up so I'm gonna go get him out on the track. Good luck Kirby. Even Brexton beat us here. I just saw Brexton sprinting to come congratulate Kruby Dew. Kruby, like a boss, how'd that feel, bro? Kruby said he needed a little extra energy. So Brexton offered to get him a piece of pizza and run it to him. Have a little pep talk from dad. So tonight, guys, there's a lot more waiting than usual because of the number of races, the number of classes. And so we're just chilling out here, having some drinks, having some pizza, just using up our dual spots. As you guys saw, we brought the minivan. Mom probably explained that she came later. I came earlier to save a spot. Worked out perfectly. We're right by Edge Power Sports and our friends Brian and Bryson. So anyways, a lot of time in between races. He just finished up his second race. So we're waiting now for that same series of two races to start over again, which doesn't start again for potentially like another hour. And then that whole series took almost two hours. So guys, I mean, they're not joking when they say that sometimes you're here till one o'clock in the morning. A long day. I've got to get home and turn this into a vlog and upload it before we're back here at like 7 in the morning. Anybody want to know how that's going to happen? I want to know how that's going to happen. If you see this vlog go up at noon, like it usually does, then you know we pulled it off. If it doesn't, then you'll know that something happened and I wasn't able to get it up. But we're going to do our best to get that out to you guys. Crew's got two more races to go. His favorite race, coming up next. You guys, the sun has set. We've entered the evening portion of tonight's events. It's getting chilly, but I love it. It feels good. I kind of wish I had a hoodie just to keep the bugs off. So we're just going to wait this thing out. Cruise races it for a little while, then we'll race twice. But what's fun, as I said this earlier, is we get to watch a lot more races than we ever got to watch before. Right now is the old man's group, 40 and over. Mindy just made reference that I could be in this group. I was like, these guys are old. I was like, yeah, and she's like, oh, wait, so that's, that's your age group. So if I was racing motocross, They're I'd be not out of this old. one. Right I'm now. shocked they can get out there on a bike. We are getting up for the last race of the night, you guys. Kirby Doo, getting ready to take the track in the dark. Mom's trying to start his bike in flip flops.
crew coming in to collect the checkered flag on his last race of the night. Nice job, Kirby Do. So proud of you, buddy. Been an incredible race night. There's been an injury, and I just got. Every race since the sun went down, so I'm just glad to have him come out of here unscathed tonight to come back and race again tomorrow. That's my stud right there, all done. Nicely done! You this dodged place. so many traffic jams. The one you yes. almost crashed, yeah. starting out, but you were hey. so strong. You just navigated right through all those kids. Hey. That was so good. Hey, bro, way to go, dude. So dude, proud of you. I don't know how you're avoiding all these crashes. There were so many pileups, so many crashes, and you just navigated right through, around. Yeah, there were like two kids tangled inside each other's bikes off the front, and he yeah. got all around the whole thing. I, was, I had the camera, and I was like looking through the lens, which zooms in way far. Oh yeah, and you saw it. Every time I, I stopped breathing, it was a, a mess off the front there, dude, and you somehow came out of that unscathed. Way to go, bro. You're awesome, bud. Woo! I'm just glad that we made it through the night. No injuries. You absolutely crushed it tonight, dude. So proud of you. Seriously, way to go. Hard to get crew and me in here. As you guys know, I am a, a giant. <laughs> but guys, that is it for tonight. Crew raced like a beast out there. Huge thumbs up for our crew, we do. We love how much you guys love and support him. There's so many, oh my gosh, it's so so cool. many comments leading up to the race, wishing him luck, and then of course on race day, flooded with comments and congratulations. Oh gosh, I love it. We we met a lot of riders tonight that actually watch the videos, watch them and see these races. I'm so excited that we get to meet you guys in real life and have you say hi. And we love that you guys get to see yourselves racing by in the video, so that's super cool too. We love you guys. We love this motocross experience. We love this whole motocross like family. family. It really is. It. It's a full family experience and we absolutely love it. And tonight is an epic, crazy race night. We're doing it literally all over again tomorrow in, in like six hours. hours yeah. yeah, it's literally like six hours from now we will be back here setting up again for another full day of racing. So guys, we gotta sign off. We gotta get to bed. Come back tomorrow. Watch the championships with Kruby do. He's feeling loopy, guys. He got a little burst of energy once we hit 11 p.m. I think he snuck my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. We will see you guys we'll tomorrow you. back here at the track. Bye. Bye.